Hi, I'm Mike with SPI, and I'm very excited to share with you our new X27. The X27 is the highest performing, most sensitive, color night vision camera available. There's nothing else like it. The X27 is so sensitive, it'll perform in no moon, overcast, starlight conditions. Tonight, we're gonna have a side-by-side -side shootout, putting the X27 against the other leading low light technologies. For this shootout, we'll compare visible versus non-visible lasers. See what the difference is with the X27 versus the other low-light technologies. A lot of current technologies can visualize infrared and visible lasers. Take a look at this image. See the purple one? That's IR. Red one? That's visible laser. Nothing else does this like the X27. With the PVS-14, distinguishing these lasers is impossible. In black and white, there is no color. And here's the side-by-side -side to prove it. Swear is seeing no lasers. EMCCD is grainy, noisy, and just overall tough to see. Thermal technology is simply incapable of seeing these lasers. Here's the UAV demo. We've attached a tiny IR beacon to a drone that's gonna be flying by. Let's see what the X27 picks up versus the other guys. Here we're seeing the structure of the UAV, its lights, and the IR beacon, all in full color HD. Can you tell which popular UAV this is? With PVS-14, I can detect something up there, but certainly can't recognize what it is. Again, there's definitely something there, but no way to recognize what it is. Which image would you prefer? Swear is seeing no UAVs. There's lots of noise here, lots of blooming. Honestly, makes me hungry for a donut. Clearly, this is a great image but no color and no IR beacon. Now in this shootout, we've attached tiny IR beacons to some of our teammates hiding out in the desert. Let's see what we see with the X27 versus other low light technologies. The X27 can see invisible IR beacons in full HD color with no bloom. PVS-14 just falls short by comparison. With low-light CMOS, again, it sees the beacon, but no color. Swear is not going to help you see any IR beacons. With EMCCD, again, it's grainy, and there's quite a bit of blooming. And thermal is simply not designed to see infrared beacons. In the human identification shootout, we've got some guys down in the field, and we're gonna see what the X27 sees versus the other guys. A lot of current technology can help provide detection and recognition, but for identification, our brains crave color. That's what you gain with the X27. With PVS-14, detection, sure. Recognition, somewhat, but very little contrast. The CMOS, it's not as clear, not as bright, and without the color, facial recognition becomes very tough. Side by side with the X27, the difference is clear. Swear is just a, a waste and a mess. EMCCD has some color, but it's just too grainy and too much noise to be useful. Now with thermal, we know it's impossible to hide but identification is where the challenge is. Now in the colored laser shootout, we'll fire lasers downrange and see what we see with the X27 
versus the other low light technologies. Here's our X27. Bright, crisp, clear colors. You've got green, red, blue, clearly. And with PVS-14, again, you lose that color and all that clarity that the X27 has. With the leading competitor, CMOS, watch what happens when the laser reflects back to the sensor. Boom, right there, your image goes dark. Now that's not gonna happen with the rugged X27 that has the dynamic range to deliver rock solid imaging in even the most challenging conditions. Next up is SWEAR, and really nothing much to say here. With the MCCD, again, you do have some disparity in color, but it's just a big noisy mess. We love thermal, but it just doesn't see what our X27 sees. Now this is one of my favorite shootouts. We've actually placed some camo netting out in the field. Let's see what the X27 sees versus the other guys. We can clearly see the broadband response of the HD full color X27, making the difference between naturally occurring vegetation and man-made camo netting very apparent. Bringing up the PVS-14 monochromatic night vision, you do get a bright image, but really no distinction. With low-light CMOS, the lack of details compared to the X27 is obvious. Next up is SWEAR, and really nothing much to say here. What you see is what you get. With EMCCD, despite having color, you can see that the overabundance of noise, typical with this technology, really makes this essentially unusable. And hey, we all love thermal imaging, and it obviously has its benefits. But in this application, it just can't compete with the X27. We love to talk imaging, so call or email us anytime.